Today on MC Sport, it the healthy pet versus strike court. I am Julio, your color commentator for today, alongside with my play-by-play uh, -play commentator. Lev Miller, here. And today, it is May the 4th. Uh, for all those Star Wars nerds out there, may the 4th <laughs> be with you. And today is a great day for baseball. We're here in Palo Alto, California. Yeah, and this is playoff, guys. Here we go. It's playoffs for the American League. And the first pitch. And it's That's a strike. Right. Yep, right in there. Great start to today's game. Yep, that is it. That is um, Cam Owen. What did you say? The Owen one. Oh, he hit him. Me? Yeah, I can see Kyle. I'm pretty sure that hit him. Did it not hit? It did not hit him. I can't hear. It is one and one. I can hear every now. Maybe it's the fair to see problem. The pitch. Oh, On nice swing and miss. The pitch. The last game that they played each other, it was a devastating loss for Strike Force as they had lost 11 2. But let's see if Strike Force can come back on top today and move on in the playoffs. The pitch. Oh, that's wide. Two and two now. Can you play the refrain from yelling into the. Throw. And uh, he's out. Nice play by Luke Kuzo. One that's out. Up. That's the big one. Oh, I, I, I can hear up right next now. is Isaiah Walker. Isaiah has had his fair shares of strikeouts and some good hits. But let's see if it's just hits today or will I, I he can, strike out at all. Hit. Low outside by Owen. One and oh. One out. Oh, nice what a hit. hit! And that goes up to the back of the field. Throwing, going to second, and he'll stay. Nice hit by Isaiah Walker. Yeah, that's, they needed that. That's going to be a good start. Still call time. I, I think that's the what they're going to need for this game. They're going to need hitters like that to. Yeah, they, they need that. And, and comparing it to the last game, it was not very good at all for the strike force. And I think today is their day. Right, you know, your eyes got to be brought up. All right, here's the pitch. Good eye, Julian. Good eye. It's just out. Yeah. Isaiah Walker. Sounds like the best. Probably. Oh, nice hit, but that's a foul. Almost oh, hits our truck. Hopefully that did not hit our truck. That's going to be a problem. Yeah, that's a major problem. Okay. Yeah. Much better. Two balls, one strike. Another ball and wait, should I be on the That's runner or the one. ball? No, let me I'm gonna focus. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna focus. Now. Pitch. Pitch. Oh, um, very close. It's the three and two, full count now. Owen. Hi. That's gonna be a walk there. And now they got first and second. Two men on base. Man, who's this? Grayus Sashi. Grayus Sashi is up next. Very tall. Probably taller than me. I, I've actually I've seen this kid play, and I think he has potential. He had a big hit. That's high. Outside. You still want a wide shot? Own one. I mean, one and oh. Pitch. Nice oh, hit down to third base. What a play. And it's loose at second. Oh, that was a really good play for third base. It's two outs now. One on first, one on second again. What do you think about that third base? That was, I, I'm very impressed. 
Up next, Ty Peavy. Yep. Do you think he has some relation with Jace Peavy by any chance? <laughs> he does. He does. Well, we had an anonymous source here. Thank you. Ooh, that hits him in the helmet. And it's the bases are now loaded. Oh, man, that's got to hurt. I would not take a hit like that. I would not. Coach is going to check on him. Seeing if he's okay. Is he okay? TV is okay. Up next, Jacob Reach. First at bat today. Cam Owen is really looking to rebound. Start. Pitch. Oh. Thank you for that fence up there, or else it might have hit us. Yeah. Own one. There's no one at camera three. Down. Oh. Will they make it? And strike force scores 1-0. Yeah, I, this is a I want to quickly point out something. To all the listeners Wait, here. Camera three that behind the, plate? the pitch count is already, they've already done seven. I'm camera two. There's and two out in the first. What? 17 is not a good pitch count. No, it is not. I'm camera two, what do you mean? Now it's one and one after the ball. Actually one and two after the ball. Pitch. Oh, that was a good pitch and that's gonna end the inning. But the strike force will not go away without getting a run and making this ball game one nothing early. We're headed to the bottom of the first. So, from what you've seen from Strike Force's batting, do you think they'll be good, just as good in their defensive Well, position? obviously, yeah, defense two, definitely yeah. hit them last time. Actually Let's look at this replay right here. Nice strikeout, yeah. you think? But, yeah, so. And the health cuts are getting ready to go that. I think that's what's gonna get they scored 11 runs last time they played. He was on the round, and it looks like Trace is one they're going for. So Scott is on the mound, throwing fire, and I think that's either A. Yeah. So here we go. Yep. And what's my job? Pads for today's game for Strike Force will be Isaiah Walker and first base, number six, Ty Peavy. And in second base, number five, Jace Peavy. And last but not least, but the infield third baseman, number three, Julian. So what's my job? And I, and I think it's gonna, be a, it's gonna be a great game. What's the outfield? The outfield. Let's see here. Outfield. Okay. Uh, Vince, I think, is in center. And oh, wait. Oh, sorry for interrupting. But up next is number eight, Cameron Owen. He was also the pitcher. Yes, the first one at bat. Usually it's the pitcher that's the last one at bat in Major League. But this is not Major League. This is Palo Alto Little League as we commence at the bottom of the first. Just outside. One and oh. First pitch for the strike force. If we had more power with that, it would have went down the 
the right field line, uh, he would have got a single. But no, it was a foul. Hold that. Ah. One and two now. He's not close enough to the bar, the batter's box. That's why he cannot. <coughs> One and two, Cameron. Ooh, oh. he almost swung at that. Looking at pitches that are definitely and strike. Great pitch by our pitcher number zero, Reyes. Up next is number 12, Luke. Luke Sosa. The last time he was playing, it was an amazing game. He hit a three-run homer, I think, if I recall correctly, to left field. This guy's an amazing dude. Down oh, to wow, left field. Wow. Good single. Get to, well not, great hit, he got all of that. I am telling you, he is the powerhouse of the healthy pets. He's the one that got them the 11 to one lead. Amazing, just amazing. This dude's like pro. Really good. Yep. Out, don't look here. Tanner Wall. That. Luke was thinking about stealing, but no. I'm on the runner dead. Curious, winding up. Oh. That almost hit us. I, I could have hit, hit yeah, us. Well. <laughs> there was no fence. Would, would not be good. Would not be good for us. Right. Hi guys. I'm, I'm the guy waiting. Oh. So, there's Tanner now. Oh and two. Yeah, he cannot let him come through. That's right. Yo, Shreyas is doing a great job right now of cleaning the bench. He's been, I mean, he did that for um, Cam Owen, and always hitting right on that batter's box on the ball at any day. Great job there. Luke is going. Luke is stealing, and couldn't get there in time. Goes on the outfield. Luke running, and he's running. Going home. And this will put. Healthy pets on the board. It is, t it is tied now, one-one. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, just like that. I mean, we were just talking about Treyas just pitching so well, and look at that—a wild pitch. Just incredible, incredible. I don't know why Luke happened. is still on. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Luke is apparently on first. The pitch. I'm pretty. Might be a uh, pinch running, Tanner. No, he is not. It in fact was I think disallowed. It's one and zero. Oh yeah, it's one nothing. Kind of weird. Scoreboard says one nothing. But on the home team, on the visitor team, is supposed to be the one lead. So, just just to, just to clarify, Strike Force is winning by one. One nothing. Quick, don't understand um, why. I'm pretty sure it's because Tanner was called out. I'm pretty sure there might be a rule. What, what, I think, no, uh, I think it was because Tanner swung. So. The pit. It was because it was a ball. So it again misses it. And they go to. And now he's going home. Oh, it's going to be play, play. It was a bad mistake for him to run. They didn't get him out. They didn't get him out! Wow! Oh my god! Nice juke by Luke Sousa! Luke Sousa just beaked out the catcher. I didn't think that would be possible in, in my life of report of like commentary. Oh, they're mad. They're, they're saying that he's outside of the baseline. I mean, it's they can't they don't have inst we have a replay on here. Uh, I don't know if we have a replay to clarify whether or not that it was outside. Because if line. we have a replay, we can tell. They can't. 
I do not think we have a replay on this. And we let's see this once again. They threw it back home, and they, and Luke Sosa had the chance. Yeah, here it is. Oh, he was no. outside the baseline. No, I think he only touched. That. I mean, great replay, but they the arms don't see. They're trying to talk. I don't know if he stepped in the grass or not. I think they will allow it. It is now tied 1-1. One, one, one. So now it is officially tied. I think Tanner, no, there's two outs because Tanner <laughs> swung at the ball even though it was a wild pitch. And because they returned Luke, because he did not swing because it was a ball, that's why that first one didn't count. But the second one did count because it was a strike. And that was scary. I mean, all right, that'll end the inning. And Isaiah Walker is showing some frustration here. He definitely wanted that inning a bit earlier than it did. Now we are going to the top of the second inning. It is tied. Healthy Pets, one. Strike Force, one. Oh, we got a new pitcher. See who it is. Sure looks like he's. Oh, that's a bit low. Then. Watch first. I think Cam has to get this. That was. That is low again. Show Great job by both teams. I do not think that Strike Force would be able to maintain um, at least a uh, one nothing lead. Oh, he definitely stepped. Not, not, I mean, I think Cam actually saw that. Not step out like that. Two and one right now. And he'll be yeah. taking the break. Up next to bat, number 12, oh, Jonah okay. Farrell. Like to take camera three, so I'm just kind of right now. He's going to be a very in. great at bat. So, pitch by Walker. Really. He has pressure right under his fingertips. And, ooh. But there, I'm, there are, um, wow. And yes. He has 26. And a man on base, too. I mean, doesn't want to throw another wild pitch. That's a good pain in the corner. If Cameron does not want to make the same error that Strike Force did. Yeah, and if he does, it's okay because they got a man on the Parma. Parma. Ooh, oh. nice hit. It's a fly. And they got it. And he's safe. Wow. Oh, Vince almost got caught. And Vince, I don't think slid. I was a damn. He should have cut. He should have slid. Dude, Vince, dude, good job. Up next to bat, we have number seven, Battle Scott. Oh, he gets back right back at the audience. These parents are very supportive. They're very supportive of their children playing baseball, and it's a nice day too. It's very, no cloud in the sky. Yeah, very nice. You know, I could go for a game of baseball right now too. Yeah, got lots of games going on. We actually have three West um, games for them. Pitch. Oh, he held back. That's a great play, you gotta help. Smart and choice. I, I, this is from me, when I played in this league, I always like really in Intimidated when they went down the bunt, it worked for me almost every single time I threw the ball. But that's going to be a little dinker, and that's going to move the runner in the four foreign fish. Nice sacrificing, nice sac sacrifice bunt. But again, there are two out. And now we are going back to the top of the lineup with PV, base PV. Yeah, but going back to what I said about the league, when I played in this league, like, really, when you lost. Oh, you error. Ooh, nice save. save. He's going home. Oh, no. And he scores. No Two way. one. Frustration is happening in the Healthy Pets open. Here's Isaiah Walker. 
Isaiah Walker coming back on to the average box. Isaiah, the last time hit a double. Remember what I was saying again <laughs> was when you put down the bunt, it really throws you off, and that really scared me. That's gonna be really lifted. Oh, they got it. And this ends the half. And we're and going to the bottom of the second inning. One. Great game so far by. Man, we got a game. We got a game today. We got a game today. I mean, there's just no 11 1 affair. Great. Now that we're, uh, we're still on the topic of sports, today's games will be the San Jose Sharks versus Avalanche. They will be playing in their, what? what is it, the uh, fifth game? Yeah, this is game five, the series tied. They, they've been playing really good. I like that comeback that the Sharks did. Game seven, everybody. Yeah. There, uh, there's always a joke. Um, I really like one last week. Um, April um, 24th, quietest day in San Jose. Everybody had lost their voice tonight. <laughs> oh. I mean, I lost my voice. I <laughs> and now coming back to the topic of baseball, uh, the San Francisco San Francisco uh, Giants. They had an unbelievable comeback. Yeah. And they're currently playing versus the Reds. Uh, on it's the the game started. It's top of the first. Let's look. And. Games overall that they're playing. Yes. A's had an absolute oil of the Pirates. Dude, that's insane. Josh Fagley was the first A since 2001. He had eight RBIs. And yesterday was the second, fourth overtime in history in for the NBA. And a playoff game, too. That, yeah. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Trail break. Trail plays it. Yeah, top. dude. That was crazy. Like every, every time they kept trying to like score, they always caught up. It was like incredible. And I thought in the third over overtime it would be over and it, like they would make uh, basket. But no, I, I, like can't hear anything. I don't even. I don't know how that's possible. I don't know. Like, it's you rare. Have it's to, very you rare. You have to end three times tied. That's very difficult. And now back onto baseball. There's Trace on the mound. And number nine, Miles batting. Yeah, there's. Yeah, hey, be let's see if Miles batting is good at batting. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. New count, no outs, no strikes, no ball. There, watch the pitch count. Owen already and Chris has pitched only 15 times. I feel like Chris is kind of lacking a little bit right now. But, you know, he doesn't need to worry too much. Their team is leading by one, but they, you know. Oh, he does. Yes, they that was he good. Is, he's responsible for basically most of it. Yeah. It's up I'm to him for strike to force because I have an Indian get this team, this team going. Oh, he got all of that. That's going to be a single. Filled it cleanly. Going in the second. Nice hit by Miles, dude. Just incredible. Great job getting on base. He's down to right field, past. Has to be between the first and second baseman. Neither of them can get him. And the right fielder caught it. Fly. No, they didn't catch it. Jermiah running and stays at second. And Miles will stay at third. Now we have two men on base, one on third and one on second. Chris is lacking right now. He is kind of, yeah. That's really like, I mean. Chris has got to come, 
come back and focus and make sure that. What a hit, though. I mean, I think we're going to see a home run. They're really bashing them. Ooh. Oh, that was inside. That's number seven. Kevin <laughs> Harris. Oh, no, that's not. I'm very sorry. Very sorry. No, that is. I think you're being That is not Drew Harris. Our apology as our we took the drive last year kind of messed up. I think they missed it the one of the Because I actually pretty sure that's Are we sure there's not but one out? Back to the game. Dre it. Three and zero now. Yeah, Grace is really. He just got to throw one right down the middle. Uh, I mean, I don't know. He may getting signs, but whatever needs to happen, he needs to start putting it in. And yeah, just gonna mm. sails that. He saw. He gave it a good lob. Three and one now. Didn't actually do with any power. He just monster it in. Three balls and strikes. Not the way you want to go, but kind of the way you have. Pitch. Oh, that just comes mm. right back up. And now it's a full count. But it's a full count now. Three balls, two strikes. Yeah. No outs, too. Just like that, Trace gets right back into this count. Okay. Get back. And, and it's not. a walk. Oh, they got oh, him strike three. Oh. And, he, and he's like, he's like, what? I can't believe it. One out now. I don't like that. Now new count. One out. Reyes. He put in those right there. Ian Johnson is up at the batter's box. Guy Shrek guard last year. Really? Yeah, like, he was always the guy to get. Let's see if he can get the big hit here with two men on base, the pitch. Oh, he swung right through and that's gonna be 0-2, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's 0-2. No two balls, two strikes. Okay. Nice pitch by Shreyas. That was wide. Now, one ball and two strikes. The one two pitch. Oh, I got that. And that goes over the oh. fence and goes mm. into the street to middle field and oh, almost yep. gets a Honda. Oh, no, yeah, it's in the street. Oh, yeah, okay, please don't run over the ball. A uh, good news no one run over the ball. It's on the other side of the street. It's okay, they have a lot more balls. Anyways, that, no, but I mean, I just hope that no one got injured by it. Again, the one two pitch. Oh, he nailed it. But it has it. Play at the plate. And it's safe. Are you kidding? It is two to two now. Healthy pets. I almost tied up. I almost guaranteed that he was out. Wait, do we have a replay of that? That looked definitely like he was out. We do not know if we have a replay for sure. And the coach is coming out for the strike force. Oh, he can't he does not it. look happy. He does not look happy. Even, even, like, even Isaiah does not believe his I mean his I, I don't I don't season. believe it I, I don't, don't believe it either I thought it was out and I thought it was two out now I mean he must have found a way to I mean I don't think we have a replay to prove otherwise Pete, that. coach PV is really upset right now I think he just received a warning from the ump. <laughs> yeah he's not looking he's not looking very happy <laughs> we do not have a replay for it I'm sorry you guys saw it here live and I'm pretty sure not the correct call, but you can't go through games without getting the right and you love. One you know, one ball, zero strike. Hi Chris. Chris with the one oh pitch. Hi. Uh, yeah. And I actually just found that the main FBI out was on um four K. Right, getting ready. Pitches. 
he stepped out, that is gonna bust him every single time. If he steps out of the battle's box like that, he cannot do it. I understand it. I was like that too. I did not really want to like do that. I always wanted to step out. Can't do it in me. <laughs> Just hide. It is now three and one. Okay. Three balls and one strike now. And who is this? Number eleven. Justin Fung. I stepped out again. Where'd it go? It went over a fence. It didn't even hit a car, dude. That's the mission right there. Yeah. He nailed that. Hopefully that did not hit the. Uh, Hopefully not, none of those balls so hit us. I was scared of that. <laughs> yeah. See if someone if someone flies a tire, that's that uh, that's a straight shot. Nice hit towards the pitcher and doesn't get in time. And Strike Force now takes the lead. It is two to three. And now the coach now he must be fuming because. Now the team's losing. Now this might this might cost them the game. That call might have cost them. Because if they can continue, remember there's only one out. And they're about to go back to the calling time. They're, yeah, they're going to the continuous going back to the start of the order. So here's gonna be Cameron Owen. Yeah. The pitcher. The one, the only Cameron Owen. The one. The only. Ian Johnson with yeah, Yes, that is Ian Johnson. Let's look at this replay right here. Nailed nice hit to right. Throws that it was home. Yeah, that yeah, is he, out. Yeah. That is indeed he, I out. I do not believe he even touched the base. Because it was, the play was like supposed to be forced. And, and that home. is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. But we can't do anything about it now. It's too late. So good. Can we please stop bullying him? There. Oh, yeah. Nice hit to right. That might drive in another. That's going to drive in another. He's going to go all the way. How far is he going? That's going to drive in two. He throws it in. Not even a good throw. He might have just hit a home run. And he stays at third. It is now two, two, five in the bottom of the second inning. No and way. there's why he leads off, and it's five, two. Unbelievable. Amazing. Look at he this is, replay right here. Nice hit. He nailed it. And, oh, it got a luck. They just got a luck bounce there because it bounced straight away from the right field. Right. Nice job, Cameron Owen. Up next is Luke Sosa. He he is a great batter. Oh snap! He's a great batter and he could get in a few more runs. But right now it's only one person on base. If he can get a home run, then it'd be a two-run homer and it'd be two-seven. And it'd be just like. Two weeks ago, where this team, where Healthy Pets won 11 to 1. Step down. Oh, I think this five. is what they're going to do. Ooh! They're definitely looking like the hitting for Healthy Pets is really looking It's like, like looking nice. Yeah, they're it's looking nice. like this is what And literally, like, just like that, the pitch count of Shreya's skyrocketed. So they might have to look at that. And watch out. This is the second inning, and already he has 40 pitch. That is not good. And we're on the second inning. Yeah, after the next third inning, we'll switching now here. We'll get um, Casey and all of them. Two balls, two strikes. Good. Nice. Oh, and they're going to get that. And it's both safe at both. And now it's two to six. You definitely can see the frustration in the dugout. Healthy pets are looking pretty healthy, while Strike Force <laughs> is just fuming like their jersey, very red hot Mercy mad. Did. And another thing that they need for Strike Force, they need to get more strike. Here's Tanner. And uh, Reyes. Reyes is kind of shaking right now. Pitch. No. 
now it's one and one. Coach, it's fine. These guys are freaking mustang. Ray is on camp. And it looking to come back as the ball hit him out of his glove. That's going to be a low. So, one, two and one. Yeah. One out. Theo is on camera. Still one out, and they and Treyas has just let four runs what do you go mean through. Theo's better than your nice hit down to left. Bobby Third baseman gets hard. it. Not going to be in time. Tanner's fast, and Luke will stay at second, even though it definitely looks like he, 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 he was trying to steal other time, and that successfully happened for him. So let's see if the, the same thing will happen this inning. Yes. Now Shreyas on the mound. Hmm. Kind of nervous. I mean, he needs to do anything right now to get this pitch in. Oh. Wow, way outside. That was my job, though. He held it on definitely a middle second. Yes, can I leave? Came up to bat. Shreyas, the pitch. Oh, he nailed it. Just foul. That's going to not hit a car, actually. That thing's way too weak. Pitch. And here we go. So we got a, that was swung at, pretty sure. So that, yes, one and two. Don't have much room for failure here. You're fine, Anish. Fish. Tamman with the pitch. Tamman hits it for a base hit. Luke is going all the way. There's going to be the throw, throw home. home. And he's safe. Save. Tanner gets the third. Tamman will stay at first. Okay. It's now two to seven. The duo of Tanner, okay, Tamman, and, and Luke. That's just they did it. They, uh, That's not a duo, good. that's they're a triple, actually. <laughs> that's a trio. trio. <laughs> the trio. Pretty good trio right there. They're really amazing hitters. I don't know what this, this coach does for healthy pets, dude, but they're, they're keeping them pretty. <laughs> they're keeping them Tanner just showed a little wheel sign. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Not the coach. He's yeah, we got, white this. Guy. we got this. Oh, num um, Tamman looks really like he's ready to hop off and steal. Miles is up to bat. Oh, that's hit back. See, sometimes, sometimes when uh, the batter just hits a foul, usually the ball gets stuck in the fence. And that, I I once saw a kid had to climb a fence to get the ball down. It was actually pretty funny. That must be kind of a cool experience. <laughs> It kind of would. Going high. Down oh, that was field. an inside. Second. Oh I dropped it. And there's not going to be another out. Wow. That's going to be another. And oh. This is, just, this is just an incredible game. Nope, it's the blowout again. Healthy pets eight. Strike force two. This is just incredible. Dude. This is deja vu all over again. How this is how long has this been game been going? <laughs> that this is still the second calm, inning. Yeah. It's a literally game. <laughs> <laughs> if you use this one, you double press that and then you can throw it. Okay? Or just hold it and throw it. It's your choice. So five errors from Strike Force, one error from Healthy Pets. This is not looking good for Strike Force. Strike Force still only has one hit. Well, they do have some walks, and that's how they got. Two runners in. <laughs> Jemiah up to bat. Pitch. And it's outside. Two balls. Like with two old white women you. cheering for their kids? <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Ingrid, can you repeat Pitch. that? I could not hear. Nail back. Just to continue about how thankful we are for this fence. Yeah, we're very <laughs> thankful for this fence. Glad we don't get any injuries, but for those fans that are here, please be careful because these balls could hit you. Don't bring a glove to the game and count on getting Ooh, it. Ooh, I was so close to hitting him. It's now three and one. Treyas has taken his breath. And remember, his pitch count at 57. And it's the 
second inning. It's not the third inning. I do not know. I do know not know what the scoreboard is doing right now. I think something's up with it because it's Three and one. Nice hit to right field. Passes the second. One's coming base home. Base He's base chucking base. it in. Won't get there in time. Safe. Now two no. to nine. Can there be a mercy rule in the second inning? Ingrid, can there be mercy rule in second inning in Palo Alto? I'm pretty sure it's the third inning, and it's nine to two. So I do not know what's going on with the scoreboard. It is the second inning. It is two to nine. Casey, if I stand corrected. And up next to bat, we have. Do not know why it says third inning. We have number one. Ben is up to bat. He is our substitute. Shreyas kind of shaking a little bit. Kind of shaking. So one we get to the go pitch. To the truck. Wow. Devin, it's not. That, the scoreboard is wrong. How much you want to bet? No ball and two strikes right now. Oh, one out still. Two, Second right? inning. Yep. An interesting game. Mm -hmm. Strike force yeah. coach it's is just two. slapping his head right now. And balls are flying everywhere, and it's about to hit that Audi. Oh, oh yep, it hit the Audi. That is not good. The Audi yep, is very expensive. It, it hit that. This game's so intense, I have to stand up for this. And no one. They threatened to go. I don't know what I. Isaiah Walker has to act. Set up to hold it. Is now one and two. One out. Grace, the pitch. Defense. It, they gotta get that. There's still one out. No way. There's still out. only one out. One out. Now it's two outs. What do you mean? I was a one on third. One on second. I seven Up next years and I hit to like bat 50. is number four. Bet Ian Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. Seven. I actually hit like three. We finally have two one? outs after a bunch of runs. Eight two. From Reyes. Here to explain to the next yes, announcement. I hit not three. Announced. Fifty in Widow League. I was terrible in travel. They were actually good. You didn't even play travel, so fight me. You just played Widow League. Now, right? ball, you just go. No strike. Travel, you have to be good to play. The pitch. Nailed. That's gonna be there. Hustles to the bag, and that will be three outs. Finally, the inning is over. We're going to the third inning. It is Strike Force two, Healthy Pets eight. This is not looking too too hot. This is not looking too good. Not, not, not looking too good for the Strike Force team. And, well, Healthy Pets are, you know, don't. They're like, yeah, no, we're winning. We're we're cooling. We're chilling. We're maxing. Relaxing. And another We're done. cool hip, <laughs> hip thing I can say. Yeah. And but anything you like to say that has to do with? No, well, Cam has to found another good inning. Sixty-six pitches. He has done. He was. He was right, having a rough start. Now something is definitely up with. with the scoreboard, yeah. yeah. Because the it is the third inning. inning. Third inning of this game. Yeah. I know what's going on with the scoreboard. It's also nine to two. I don't know why it says eight. And there we go. Now we have a fifth. Nine to two. I have the scoreboard pick. They have 67. And so we're seeing him warm up here. I think we, Cameron Owens just had a rough start earlier this game, and now it's just like strike forces are letting themselves down. 
that's not good. That is not good at all. They have to pick up the pace, so we'll have to see how this goes. And now up to bat is number three, Julian. Here we go. Owen, the wind up. Pitch. Inside. One and up. On deck is the pitcher, Shreyas Dashi. He's also a pretty good hitter, too. He really he is. Hit a nice one the last that bat. Let's see, see if they, they can, can at least get a few runs, runs here to catch up and not stay behind like the last game. That's going to be right down the middle. It is now two and one. Yeah, we're well aware. We just want to stand as close to the Hi, here is the three and oh count pitch. Nailed it. And up. that is foul. Actually, it should be. Yeah, it's three. two and two. It's the full count. Three and two now. Yeah, three two. Pitch nailed. And it's a foul, and it didn't hit the call. Oh no, it did not. And it did not go into the road. It went back. No, it did go into the road. It went back into middle field road. Uh, may your cars rest in peace. I understand. The pitch. Nice hit! Oh, that's gonna be foul, and he got it! It was fair, and it was caught. Julian had a nice hit, but if he didn't catch that, that would have been amazing to start off the third inning for Strike Force. And up next is the one, the only, Shreyas Shashi. Amazing Pitcher. batter. He's pitched 6 7. Pitches. Wow. Already third inning, this is like major league kind of pitching. That was too high. I just saw him kind of coming After back. nine innings, though, in a major league game, they're about 100, so. Yeah. Not even close. It's now 1-1. One, one. He's not too tall, so he's good. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Hiding up behind that mask. Oh my gosh. Trey. What a two now. That was a curver. Went straight in. I think I think I see a pattern that Owens is doing. He's just doing curveballs right now, but then he's gonna pitch a different pitch, like a fastball, to try and strike him out. Which is what he did. So Owens now strikes Chris out and is now two out. I mean it's too close and too early to call, but you never know when Miracles three happen. runs. Three runs away from Mercy. Miracles, dude. Miracles always happen. Well, it's two outs, and they're not looking like they have any offense. Reyes, who's probably been the leader right now, they, he's looked great. Now they're 9-2, and he doesn't even look like he's trying. Yeah, it really, really doesn't. I'm disappointing. Pitch! Yeah, very Gonna be low, I'm pretty sure. Yes. So. High PB's up to bat. Damn, Owen really has to get back, I think. That's gonna be count, hitters count, and that's two gonna and be one. a strike. So two and one. Two and one, hitters count. The two and one pitch. And that's gonna be a ball. Three and one now. That's three and one, and Owen has to. Owen, Owen's probably just going to do anything to get it in there right now. He does not want to walk. And he walked. Ty is now on first base. And the coach from Shrek Boys is looking kind of happy. Because I mean, he can't be that happy. His team's losing 9 1 in the playoff. Remember, if you lose, they're not out. There's a loser's a bracket win. and a winner's bracket. Ball. The 
brackets are right over there behind us. And here's on first base. The pitch from Owen. Swing and a miss. But it got through Tanner. And they're sending him back because it was a swing and a miss. So now it is one and two. Okay. Two out. And here it is. Hi. If you guys are tuning in later at 6.30, it will be Hengehold versus Agile here on the Palo Alto Little League field oh. for the winner's bracket. Oh. And that's gonna end the inning. Okay, we're now headed to the Ball bottom like of the third. Yep. Like and it's an interesting, it's been an interesting match so far. And the pitch count the for <laughs> healthy pads have Kind of catching up with Trace's pitch. Really not, though, that. because through three innings. You should not be having to, that, this is like best for now. Yeah, that's, that's, that no. I mean, 53 through three innings, 67 through two. Not good. Quite a difference. Yeah. You do have a point. I'm slow setting down. <laughs> it's getting a little bit more chilly, but still a nice day. Remember like a few months ago, we did not have any sunny skies. It was like very rare. And now it's hot and everyone's still complaining about the heat. It's, I think that's kind of a normal thing. Like people complain about the heat. Yeah, but it goes for one day and you're like, oh my gosh. I I can't wear shorts in the morning, so oh my gosh, I need to wear shorts today. I just exactly. absolutely burned in the afternoon. I'm burning right now, but you know. Um. I, wear I hate jeans. I'm wondering. I, I wear jeans just to like seem quote unquote professional. I mean, for today, I wore jeans to seem kind of like that. I have my San Francisco Giant a shirt on that my aunt gave me. It was a pretty nice gift, thank you. Thank you, Comadre. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, let's get back to baseball. As that first oh, at bat oh for no. this bottom of the inning is an out. Uh, is a foul. Justin Funk. That bat. I just remember when I played here, parents would always park in the parking lot way back there because they never wanted to get their cars. I think that's a smart choice. Very smart choice uh, on your parents because they do not want to pay that much money. It's a foul trip. I mean, I'm sure they get something from the league because. They can't. They can't well, just they like don't drive. Have, they have a sign that they um, park at their own risk. No, I don't see that. Actually. Well, there is one in the park uh, um, for the library, Mitchell Park Library. Mm. That's actually interesting. Though. They say, careful, home runs from middle field. And it's now one and two. Strike force can do much damage if they can try to catch up at the next at bat. Oh, Doesn't catch that's it. another air. That's another air, and that's going to bite them so much. These airs are continuous. Grace, pitch count is up to 71. If healthy pets keep doing damage, it's all over for, oh, I'll go one and for Strike Force. They will yeah. be moving on to losers bracket. And Strike, uh, my apologies, uh, healthy pets will be moving on to be versus either hinge hold or agile, yeah, whoever yeah, wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Do they have another pitcher that they're gonna bring in? I don't know. I mean, if they, they have that they opportunity. They have a limit. They can't pitch straight to the game. If they have the opportunity to do so, then yeah. There's a lot right now of Shreyas just not hitting his aim. There's something up with Shreyas, and I don't know what it is. Something Maybe he's up. just stressed or like, I Never. mean, he could be dejected or not happy right now. I don't blame him, his team is not playing well. The 
pitch. High, but gets it for the 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> the 2-2 two -two count. Damn. Nice hit! Another air. Is that the second? No, and that's safe. Oh on my, second. you're safe kidding. On first. Oh, that is just no. That's nuts, dude. That's crazy. I think the error that they did right there in second base is that both of them went, like, they didn't call it. They weren't yeah. speaking and being like, hey, this is my ball. But no, instead, both of them came together and they're like, no, we're both just going to grab the ball. Yeah, that does not look like a play you would like to see. Yeah, it's not. Really, it's not. Yeah, that means the air is up to seven. There's a lot of air. Indeed it is. Shreyas with the 1-0 pitch. Oh! And looks like... Runner to third. Was hit. Nice hit. One. No error? No error, but a run will be scored, and now it's 2-10. Trace on the mound. Hit. Oh and gosh! That fly, thank that you, that thank you. Oh, that fence just saved us again. That fence, we thank because it's saving our butts right now. And our heads. Yeah, I don't want to go unconscious for this. That would not be. That would not. Oh. Banner. <laughs> oh. Low. Takes the ball. Now two and one, one out. Two and one. Pitch. Nailed. And strike force won't get there, and it's a foul. Now yeah. It's not the two and two count. For our next game, we got some pitchers pitching mound, starting and warming up, so. Stay, stay, stay. Two balls and two strikes now. Pitch. Nice yeah. hit down to right. And that will be another error <laughs> as our first baseman, number six from Strike Force. That is now tie. Let eight the errors. Okay. It is now eight, eight, eight errors. And Looks like the coach from Strike Force will be switching. Yep, that's the change. Th that's it. That's it. 84 pitches in three innings. That's incredible. That's I'm pretty sure the limit is 85, so they're not gonna. They can't they're switch, not, in the, and yeah. they can't switch in the middle of an at bat. Yeah, they cannot. But just congratulations, congratulations to uh, the healthy Strike pets pit pitcher. Well, healthy pet managed to get this pitcher out, like. It's just incredible. Jace PV is now the pitcher. Right now, replacing me will be Casey in a second. No, he's not. As we can see, look at this replay right here. Nice throw to home plate, but that was out. That, that wasn't a very good play over there in the beginning of the, beginning of the second. So now, as PV, Jace PV, is practicing right now, the pitches can be a pretty interesting game.
Lev is currently not with me right now. But at the top of the fourth inning, you will be having new commentators. So me and Lev want to thank you guys in advance right now for tuning in and for listening to us commentate on this very incredible and semi-historical game. If you guys are just tuning in, I am Julio and my partner Lev was here. And this is MC Sports, it is Strike Force versus Healthy Pets here at Palo Alto, California in the Palo Alto Little League Stadium. And we have a new pitcher, his name is Jace Peavy, number five, who switched from third base to now pitching, and now Chris will be third base. Nice hit down to center. And he can't get the the two outs. And he will be and number 12 Luke will be safe at third. But now there's two outs. Let's see if Strike Force can finish it off in this inning. They've had a rough game today. A very very rough game today. This is deja vu all over again from two weeks ago. And now number 9 Miles is up to bat. I said to right. And that will be out, and that ends the third inning. We are going now to the top of the fourth. Thank you guys for listening to me and Lev commentate. And now I will be switching with our new commentators. But before I go, let's look at this replay right now. Nice hit by Miles, but could not get that far, and PV gets the out. Thank you guys for listening to me and love commentating. I'll see you guys soon. We are switching commentators. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I am Casey Hornbeek, and I am alongside Oliver Marburg here in the top of the fourth inning in Palo Alto, California. We have the Healthy Pets taking on Strike Force right now. The score is 10 to 2, and there's five hits for Strike Force, one hit for, sorry, five hits for Healthy Pets, one hit for Strike Force. Oliver, what have you seen so far in this game? I agree. Healthy Pets had an amazing third, sec bottom of the second inning and third inning as we have a new pitcher, Jonah Farrell, number 12. And it looks like Healthy Pets at the moment will be advancing and Strike Force would be out and playing tomorrow. But all can change. As right now we have number two up to bat and that is Vince Maxim. Vince got walked in First the bat. Three, one. And sorry, the pitcher is Tame and Perlotta for Healthy Pets. Guys, whoever's director. It's hit to a grounder. Souza will take it. He does not step on the mound and said, though, he'll get the out at first. So it'll be one out. So there will be an out there at the play. And one out now on the play. And up to bat is number 11. Just number 11, the sub who's coming in for the game. Every sub has to come in. Matthew Delgado is up. Today, Delgado is all over just said first action, 0 for 0. Tame and Prolata. This is his first inning of the game also. He hits a low ball. Delgado has a good eye there. Here in the Palo Alto Little League playoffs, ladies and gentlemen, our umps for today at home plate, Ben Gordon and Ryan Greenfield in the field. And there's a strike swinging 
by Matthew Delgado. One and two is the count here in the, the top of the fourth inning. Strike, swinging, and he is out of here. That is our second out of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Two outs, nobody on. Great pitching so far by Tim Perlotta, wouldn't you say, Oliver Martin? And now up to bat is number 10, Teague Wright. He's also making his first plate appearance of the day. Fouls one out first, so it'll be 0-1 count here. Perlotta looking good so far, too. This Healthy Pets team is very strong. People are giving them their early predictions to win it all as they are really deep. They have pitchers, they have hitters, and they have an amazing coach in Sean Owen. Strike force, though, they can still win if they lose this game because it is double elimination. 0-2 count, and it will be low. Perlotta actually having a little bit of trouble reaching the plate. He's gone low quite a lot, but he's got the two out so far. And there is a grounder to the pitcher, Pilata, and he gets him out. What a nice showing there by the healthy pets. So it'll be the middle of the fourth, and the score is still 10 to 2. Healthy pets leads, and we go to the middle of the fourth. So this game could be running away. Healthy pets could get it. We will see, though, ladies and gentlemen. It is the middle of the fourth. And it looks to be pitching for. Um, the strike force is still number five, Jace PV. PV pitched last inning and did a pretty good job. He came in for Shreya Shashi. Shashi pitched a good amount of this game so far, and he actually did pretty well. There was a lot of errors on his part, as you can see. There was, yeah, there was seven errors with a strike. He got a little bit unlucky. And up for healthy pets is Jeremiah Fong. At its junior. Some people say the quality of play in Little League these days is down a little. But, you know, the hitting is up a little bit. The quality may be a bit down of two years ago, back when we played Oliver. But everybody says the quality was the best when they were in the league, so, yeah. Never know, but yeah. Now that bats as an ump, I have to check, you know, if it's a USA approved or not. And back when I played, there was these Mako bats. It was everyone was obsessed with these bats, so it's different now. So it is the bottom of the fourth, and ten to two here, healthy pets. Now it was Jeremiah Fong. He had a a whooping double in the first inning, and it was deep. And it would just be outside. It would be called a ball. So ball one, taking one and no count here. Chase PV to pitcher. Pitch number two is swung and a miss. And he's really swinging for defenses here. I guarantee he's hit some home runs in practice. He he wants it bad. Another swing and a miss. The count is going to be one and two for Jeremiah Fong. Jeremiah Fong goes to a school. He's a sixth grader. Is where eighth graders. He goes to a school. One and two count. The pitch. Ball outside. The count is two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah, every ump has their different areas. The swing, and it'll be fouled back to us. Every single ump has their different area. As an I'm an ump, I, I like to go outside. I'm more outside over here at middle field, too, when I ump here. Just because it's easier to ump here, I feel like. When I umped at Hoover, it was a bit harder to see because they didn't have the lines painted. So I felt like I was more of a higher ump there. But See, as you can see, there was a strike three called. Umps really, really tend to call the outside strike here at middle field. It just happens to be the way the lines are painted. So I completely understand, but Fong is absolutely ticked off. He threw his helmet on the ground. He is ticked. 
and Drew Harrison got called out looking earlier in the game too. So as he hits a high drive, but it'll be foul ball over in the parking lot. There is one out. Counts 0-1 now. Drew Harrison in the seventh spot. He was not supposed to start Emmy Bottle, but he got added on the lineup as he hits a line to Shreya Shashi and he'll get an infield hit. As I was saying, Drew Harrison was not supposed to start this game, but Emma Bate did not come, so Drew Harrison got scratched into the lineup. Instead of being a bench player, he got to start the game. So now up is Ian Johnson. Funny, I know someone named Ian Johnson. As there's a ball outside taken. Man on first. As here's Johnson one. Ball taken outside for jump. Jace PV is a really good player. As you can see, he may be small, but he's throwing good stuff. Another ball, though, 3-0 and count. Play at first and second. And he does swing, though. And they could turn it. They get out at second, but... They still throw, even though he's safe by a mile. So there'll be two outs on a play, and Ian Johnson will be at first. And now, but batting is Justin Fong, the brother of Jeremiah Fong. Two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. It's a swing and a miss. Palo Alto Little League Parks is one of the nicest parks here in District 52. As Fong goes right at Jace Peavy. Jace Peavy with the throw, and he will get the runner at second. So a nice outing right there by Jace Peavy, and that will end the fourth inning. The score is Healthy Pets 10 and Strike Force 2 as we will start the fifth inning here. Strike Force looks good there. As I was saying, the District 52 has a lot of nice parks, but this is in the top. This is a beautiful park here. As there's just a pallet to Little League emblem, we have three flags. One is the United States flag, as that's the country we're in. One is California, that's the state we're in. And there's the Palo Alto Little League flag. They sometimes have a positive coaching alliance flag, but that one's not up today. They switched that one out with the Palo Alto Little League flag. The positive coaching alliance is an organization to keep coaching nice and positive. The replay. And that looked to be out. Look at camera four. There. One of Lucas Souza's rare outs, possibly. Maybe that's why they were showing it. It is the top of the fifth, ladies and gentlemen. We are hyped up to get this on. Maybe a little comeback coming up. Number five is up, and number five is the pitcher himself. Jace Peavy, it's the top of the order for strike force. I remember playing majors and all year it's you don't bat nine people, you bat the full 12 in a rotation. But then once the playoffs start and a couple weeks before the playoffs, it changes to the substitutions. And I remember being bummed out. Once you're subbed out, you're done for the game. I always was bummed out if I ever got subbed out. Or, yeah, becomes like the pros once that happens as it looks to be Tasman, Perlotta still pitching for Healthy Pets. 10 to two here in the top of the fifth here in Palo Alto, California on a hot Saturday afternoon. He pitches it low though, it will be a one and no count to Jace Peavy to start it off. The second pitch. It is a strike taken inside. Sorry, right down the pipe actually. One and one count here. Good playoff crowd. And Peavy launches one down, but it will be foul. I believe two weeks from now, 
two weeks and one day. So 15 days from now is the finals. To come, encourage everybody to come watch us all. All is an amazing crowd at the Majors Championship. I remember just wanted to make, when I was in PCL, we lost in the finals, semifinals. We were on the same team as PV foul puts one up and Harrison slides in, does not get it, and it will be a single. I remember when we were in PCL, you just wanted to make the finals. That was always my goal. Just to make the finals was always my goal because it was, it was just the atmosphere of the finals was always so fun, but we lost in the semifinals, unfortunately. We were a good team that year, just, just couldn't quite get there. Man on first, it is going to be Isaiah Walker. Tasman Pilata throws the pit. Yeah, he had a nice double in the first inning. One and is the count. And that one's inside, two and no count. Strike force got, could have a little run here, maybe come back in this ballgame. I mean, the hits are pretty close. It's only five hits to three hits. It's really the second thing over is the, the air. Seven hits to one hit. One hit. High ball, three and no count. Pilata's fourth pitch is outside, 4 0 walk, and he will take his base. A little run here by Strike Force. It's not over till it's over, as they're saying. Man on first and second now, and up will be Julian Rabbit Tomato. Julian Rabbit Tomato batting in the three spot. That one came right at us. My head would be chopped off if it wasn't for this fence in front of us. By the way, if you want to watch any game at any time, go to Palo Alto Little League and look up the webcams. We have a webcam right in front of us, and they are streaming any game, anytime, anywhere. You can just watch it, click out your phone for free. It's great. Sometimes I watch my umping on that see. Uh, um, you see me ejecting people in slow motion. As there's a nice hit by Julian Rabbit Tamata. Coming in the score will be Jace Peavy. Isaiah Walker will put on the brakes at third, and it will be 10 3. What a double by Julian Rabbit Tomata. It is 10 to 3, ladies and gentlemen. And Shreya Shashi is up, and he is, he is a man on second and third. He's the right guy you want up, and he has a nice cut. That one looked good, but it did not quite make contact. Right. A one one count, Pilato with the pit. And he makes some good contact. This baby is on the wall. I thought that one was out and two runs will score. It's only a single, but two runs score. 10 to five, strike force, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, he ripped that one to the track. I started my home run call, but it went off the wall. It did, wow. It ripped the visor off. 10 to five. Pilatus, as we have a ball coming right at us. Wow, that went right behind us, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the fifth, and we have a little run here. The hits are almost equal. The airs, that's the issue for the runs. As there is an 0-1 count, and by the way, now up is Ty Peavy, the brother of Jace Peavy. And he grounds one off his foot, but it's going to be time because it was foul because it went off his foot. Great call there by our home plate umpire. Are you kidding? That was one of the most exciting plays so far of the game right there. That ball was absolutely crushed. Here's Ty Peavy. And he hits this one, and now will be a single. 
Shashi will stop at second and another hit for Strike Force. And now both teams have five hits. Zero outs. What a rally here by Strike Force. And very, very inside there as Jacob Reach is up to bat. Hopefully Jacob Reach can reach on a nice hit here. One and count is an outside. It's two and oh right now. This is playoff baseball, ladies and gentlemen. Get hyped. Taman Perlada under the pressure. Throws the pitch and it's inside. He is absolutely struggling. This is a rally, ladies and gentlemen. It's three and oh count. Ball four, he will take his base. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will make the bases loaded. And guess who started the inning? Vince Maxime. Oh, no, wait, he didn't. That was last inning. My bad, folks. But if Vince Maxime hits a home run right here, it's a one-point game. As the pitching coach comes on, this guy is an amazing pitching coach. He's all about the fundamentals, teaching the players the right ideas to keep them going. One of the best coaches in the league right now, and he's working along with Sean Owen. Ten to five. Vince Mackin, five to ten. He is up. A home run. This game is t not tied. They're down by one. But Perlotta, all the pressure on him. Everybody watching. This is it, the pitch it is going to the second baseman. He throws it home, and he's out. Great play right there by your second baseman, Cameron Owen, who pitched the first three innings of this game. Unreal. And I guarantee in that meeting that they just had, Mr. Fundamentals brought them out and said, throw it home. And Cam Owen said, absolutely, and he threw it home. And that is one out. What a play as Jonah Farrell is up and he takes a strike. He is upset about that one. Gives his bench a little look. One and one count, ladies and gentlemen, and the bases are still loaded. Top of the fifth inning here. Ball. Two and one count. Jonah Farrell. It's a ball. Three and one count. Luke Souza is in the squad, ladies and gentlemen. He is the catcher catching Tame and Perlotta. And by the way, Cam Owen is a shortstop. I gave and he takes his base. That will not get a run, ladies and gentlemen. JCPV scores, and it's 10-6. Yes, it would. And I gave Cam Owen for the credit for getting the one out. I was actually wrong about that. It was not Cam Owen. The second baseman was, he just came into his dugout. Looks like he's pitching. He must be changing his glove. Is this good? A what? Yeah, I believe it was Tanner Wall. A little confused what's happening. I believe it may have been a time and they're doing a pitching change here. Hey, maybe he can he can show us what he can do. I bet he can throw pretty well. Oh, it's the man. It's the man of the hour. And that is a great decision by Sean Owen. He's wasting time. He's wasting time for a reason. He doesn't want, he wants the two hour limit to go because he knows that strike force can't start a new inning after one hour and 45 minutes, and it's an automatic stop at two hours. So that's a great, smart choice. Changing the catcher will delay more time. It'll make it to strike forces. Momentum's gone, and that is the way Sean Owen thinks. He does it so he can win. It's a great, great choice for him. And it's annoying for a fan. I admit it. I want to play more. But it's a smart decision, and that shows how smart of a coach he is.
and I wasn't quite we cl wasn't quite <laughs> quite clear on the time we started, but I believe it was after 3:30. We should almost be at two hours, one hour for. And by the way, if it's tied and they go after the hard stop, they go to extras. They start with a man on first and a man on second. The new rule added in 2016. Justin Fang, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, Battle Scott. Battle Scott is up to bat. Top of the fifth, one out, and the bases are juiced. The home run right here would tie the game. But no pressure. And Luca Souza, look at that pitch. Look at that leg kick. Luke Souza. And here's the last pitch. As the ump's on coming down here. Or they don't come down with people on. So here we are. Top of the fifth. Zero zero. One out, bases loaded, 10-6. This is it, Battle Scott up. I think he's gonna hit a home run and be tied up. Yes sir, Lucas Souza with the pitch and Battle Scott fouls it back. It is a 0-1 count start. And playing, I actually never had the pressure like this, but I, th I think you did. I remember you once came down to the last out. You know how it feels to have the pressure on you. Like this, as there's a low one, and Vincent's way off the bag. Same goes for Pharrell. They all stole because they were assuming that the man at third was going to steal home. That could have ended really bad for SF. One on one count. Susan the pitch. Low. And there is the steal home, and they will score. 10 to 7, ladies and gentlemen. Number four, Jacob Reach. Reaches home and scores. It is 10 7, and Strike Force is coming back. And it's a two and one count. Susan. Strike, two and two. Battle Scott is battling the count. And he hits a foul, so two and two count. And he could also draw a walk. And that goes away. Vince comes home, and he is safe. The ball came out, ladies and gentlemen. It's 10-8. And there's still a full count for the bat. And now there's just a man on third. It's 10-8, one out. Base is loaded. Sorry, the count is full. As you see the replay here, look at him coming in. The ball just came out by the catcher. He probably would have been out if the ball stayed in the catcher. The full count. And, and the, the home run will give Strike Force the lead. What an ending right now, ladies and gentlemen. Lucas Souza walks in. Jace Peavy back up, and once again, there's only one out. So, T. Wright, Matthew Delgado, and Emmett Thor all had the bat once, and they already had the bat, so they're done for the day. And these nine are back up. Jace Peavy up again. Two to the pitch. Peavy swing and a miss. One out. A double play would really mess them up. And my question is, I am not sure right now, but they could be at one hour 45. So it could be over actually after this inning. That could have been part of Sean's delay and tactics. As right now, Jonah Farrell does not go though. Maybe a smart decision not sending him. He could have been out. I feel like he would have been out if he went. That's the 2-0. and 
Burrell's not the fastest base runner, but he's a really smart base runner. Kind of like Buster Posey. 2-0 count. And it's a foul ball into the dugout of striking for Two and one count. It is the top of the fifth. PV. Two and one. He's a no batting gloves type of guy. Three and one. I respect the courage of the no batting gloves. Who is the best player in the MLB right now to have no batting gloves in your opinion, all of you? I think maybe Will Myers comes up in my head. He's and he goes foul. It's a full count. That was a batting gloves type of guy. Full count. Sorry, two balls, two strike. For PV. Two balls, two strikes. Man on second and third. A home run will give them the lead. And he struck out swinging. Two, two outs, and I reckon with a, a Z Walker home run to give Strike Force the lead, maybe. I'm not gonna say that for sure, cause personally, I don't know. But there's two outs, ladies and gentlemen. What will happen? Isaiah Walker is up the bat. This is the biggest at bat of the game. Yes, the biggest at bat of the game. Two outs. This is huge because they may not get this chance next inning. You know what I mean? They probably won't get this chance. And it's a ball outside, 2-0 oh count. Luke Souza, pretty much hands down the best hitter in majors. I don't know if he's the best pitcher, though. He's still a very good pitcher. One, two. One and two. Or Isaiah Walker. Top of the fifth year in the PCL playoffs. It is a high fly ball. This should be caught. And it is by Cam Owen, the shortstop, and he gets the out. What a clutch play here in the PCL playoffs. What a clutch play. That may have possibly been one of the clutchest plays yet, but we are not over. I have to go, ladies and gentlemen. Oliver Marburg will take it away from here. Have a great night, and we will see who wins, ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome back to Palo Alto. I'm Kieran Costa, filling in for Casey Hornby, who has to leave. Um, 10-8 healthy pets here in the bottom of a fifth inning. Uh, what do you think they need to do to extend their lead, Oliver?
Jace Peavy, the coach's son, on the mound for strike force. The uh, first pitch fouled. Back to the screen, it's nothing and one. The eighth place hitter. Wait, my bad. The leadoff hitter, Cam Owen, who started today's game, leads off the bottom of the fifth for Healthy Pets. Fouled back again. It's one and two. Owen, the starter, had himself a nice day, went three innings. PV winds and deals. Pitch outside, it's two and two. Fastball line, back up the middle of base hit. That ball on the screws, straight back through. And they have the lead off man aboard, just what you said they needed to do to extend their two run lead. 10 runs, six hits, two errors for the Pets. Um, eight runs on five hits and seven errors is, that's been the killer here. The seven errors that strike force has had, and that was mainly in the big seven run second inning, yeah. He's been on base all three times today. And you see outfield plays him way back. <laughs> PV's 20 second pitch hit him in the back. He went, it looks like he went with the change up there and wasn't close. So PV now got himself into a bit of a jam. Two on, no out. Set and fires. Up and away. No, I feel like Maybe if this is a 10-2 game still, but it's a close game, and that's you true. You don't you don't you don't want extra base runners. Yeah, you you can't go putting people on in a two-run game. Julian Rabbit Tamita, the lefty, Ooh. line to right. Great hit and over, it's the, over head. the head of and the sending Sue's a home. One run scores. There's gonna be a play at the plate. Harrison no round. Throw. Third. He's gonna score and a stand up double for Rabbit Tamita. And that ball was drilled. Yeah, it was. It was. It was right at the left fielder. Bell Scott. Yeah. Yeah. He just didn't have a Not greatest a, jump on yeah. that ball. He, he he had no read off the ball at the bat. As you see it again, right at him, Ooh. but it went over his head. As he's frozen, then he just has to turn to yeah, chase back it down. Tailing, yeah. One hop off the wall, stand up double, and good, ju good job to get it into second. Yeah, though. he did hustle out through a ball after he missed it. The throw gets past the pitcher, but backed up by the shortstop. So runners do not advance. As that double doubles the pet lead and. <laughs> It is now the mountain just getting higher and higher to climb. Pitch over the head. Throw down to third. third base. East goal third. Eight. So that pitch also wasn't close. As that one went right over the yeah, head almost of batter. the ducking shashi. For 
Peralta had to get out of the way yeah. there. Yeah, that was my bad. That was Peralta. Swing! And a miss. He struck him out. They throw down to third. Nothing doing down there. Yeah. And that's the first out of the inning. Peralta was back up the plate, and PD went right outside. Can't hit that. Miles Adele comes to the plate with a man on third, a huge RBI opportunity. Infield in, though, so a ground ball won't do the trick. Out in front, blocked. One zero with one out in the bottom of a fifth. Pitch up and away. For baseball, we should get a radar gun, and we should like have the graphics. Uh, pitch one and away, two and nothing. The 2 0 looking to put men on the corners here in the bottom of the fifth. Oh, it was. Oh. Oh. So, that was ball four. Missed upstairs. And so now, Thrunners on the corners. They don't bring the middle infield double play at. They keep them all in. Here comes Jeremiah Bong here. Yeah, and Oliver. So, you know, usually the play with runners on the corners is you send the yeah, guy send on them first. In. If they throw, yeah. you send them home, but usually they eat it. Yeah, or or they'll have a second baseman cut it off, go back home, which is the play we ran, my travel ball team. Manager Sean Owen sending signs. Yeah, and so first. what do you see them doing here? Uh, go, go, are, are they going to go for the out at second, get the second out of the inning? Or just eat it to protect I think, the run. I think they should hold it if if um, the steal does take place. Yeah, one and one as he did not go on that one. As as you saw the second baseman then anticipating as he went straight to the bag, pitch up and in, two and one, and it looked like they will not be having that steal play on. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Maybe a missed sign because Don Owen is a very smart manager. Jeremiah, Bung called time back in the box now. PV sets at the chest and fires. Oh, beautiful opposite. Line to right Real and that's hit. through. Another Going from scores. first to third is Adele holding up at first with another RBI is Jeremiah Funk. Oh, and so they still have runners on the corners. They've tacked on another. And now it is D. Harrison. He did not start the game. He lines it foul into his own dugout. Yeah, Drew Harrison did not was not initially starting. Uh, Emil Both did not show up, so he was plugged lineup as earlier said by Case. The pitch. He has an RBI opportunity. Chopped to third. It's off his glove. Throw across the diamond. He got him. Strong and throw by Shashi. Yeah. Shashi pitched three innings of a ball game. Now at third. And you see Jeremiah Fung had a bit of a... Oh, so Jeremiah Fung went to second. I think he could have gone to third because he, he, he was yeah, running on the pitch. He was gone on the pitch because it was he was at first with a ground ball. Ian and Johnson stands in now. Looking for an op RBI opportunity. Johnson, if he reaches Justin Funk, chop towards shirt, short, bad hop, throw across. He did not get. Oh, he did get he him. He did apparently. get him. He did get him. I can see a replay on that one because it looked very close to me. Close play at first, but everyone is a little tired after a long day of baseball. He heads the sixth. Yeah, this this comeback from Strike Force is good. Strike Force needs six. It's gonna be a little more difficult. So they will have two, three, and four. Yeah. The part Need, of their part order. Of yeah. yeah. Needing 
six to force a bottom. Here is the replay. The Chopper by Johnson. Oh, they oh, got him. Yep. They got him. Good call by. And a great call by the umpire. By Ryan Greenfield. By umpire. Ryan Greenfield. Who was on the third base side a sec. So it was, it was yeah, a given so call. Yeah, it was. It was cool to see. Luke Sousa stays in the game. Yeah, not the best inning, but did his job. He does have a six-run lead to work. A yeah. six-run lead to work with. So it's gonna be a while. Leave some pressure. For yeah. Him. They need to get two in and have the bases loaded to get the tying run to the plate. Leading off for strike force. They don't have a batter out there yet. Yes, they do. Is number three, Julian Rabbit Tamita. They will have Chashi and Ty Peavy, the other brother, pitch outside corner one and one Fusa works quickly as the ball back behind his back sets fires just a little bit low good pitch by that was Sousa. a great pitch by Sousa there as your coach goes says you want to miss low yeah and that was Those right it's gonna be difficult to hit it was right over the plate and low Loses one, two. Another low pitch. I think most of his pitches have been low in his outing today. So two balls, two strikes. It's 14-8 here in the sixth. Dusa. Change up, struck him out swinging. Beautiful pitch there. I think Rabbit Tamita was expecting low because that's what he's, all he's seen. And then he went up high, got him. But it was risky. He elevated an off-speed pitch. <laughs> That ball was hanging up there. Shashi, who hit one okay, listen, off the wall in his last at bat. That's line foul down the right field line. Yeah, he's showing some great power here. Could have been extra bases on that one, but it's foul. There's nothing wrong with Shashi. They have six. If Two outs to go, five strikes to work with before they will head to the, to the loser's bracket. bracket yes. Swing and a miss. Passed it past him. Yeah, but Souza's, Souza in this inning and the last one is really using his off-speed pitch yeah. to complement his fastball. Arsenal. Oh. Swing and a miss. Three. He, all it takes is three pitches to yeah. take down Shashi. And Arguably that, the best hitter in that lineup. And, and that was a fastball, and he was obviously sitting changeup because last batter he faced got a 0-2 high change. Yeah, he's changing it up and really doing a good job. Last batter. And the strike force are down to their final hope. Ty Peavy. It's Ty Peavy. Pitch goes over him straight to the screen. And after commanding two strikeouts, completely lost touch on that one. Looking to cave aside. PV digs in. Bat on his shoulder. Pitch. It's low, so. Called it a strike. Oh, he did. Interesting. Yeah. And usually you don't see that because the catcher didn't stick it. Squirted away from the catcher. A pitch. Peavy takes low in the, in the dirt. It's two and one. Peavy trying to keep keep his team alive here. It's one strike to work with before this game is over. Jacob Reich would be next. A pitch. Change up. Could not command that. Goes over the head of Mr. Peavy at three and one. 
No sign from his third base coach here on a 3-1 pitch as he's the last hope down six. And goes. Takes Full a count strike. Now. And here we go. 3-2 pitch. Two outs in the sixth. You're going to go down. Got to go down swinging here. Oh. Pitch not close. They're, they're going to stay alive. And that pitch was not close. He spiked it. Jacob Reich is the new last hope. PV leads away from first. Wait, guys, is it still the top of the fifth? Oliver, if I was strike force coach, would you be sending the runner right now? Doesn't matter. Drop yeah, towards doesn't second. Here, and that's On to game. first, and there it is. The final score here. Healthy pets take down strike force 14 to 8. The late rally comes up short. Oliver Malbro's been here all day. Casey took us five. I took us the last one. I'm Kieran Costa. Stick around for the second half of our twin bill. This has been a student's fourth production of the Mid Penn Media Center. Stick around. We have another one coming up in about an hour. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. Have a great day.